Okay, let's go to page 266, and this is section 22.5. And this is uh, this one is a uh, trivial inequalities. So you got x squared is greater than equal to zero. And the reason that this is this is true because x, no matter what the number is, if you square, okay, again we deal with real numbers, right? So if x is positive, so positive square is going to give you a positive number, so it will be greater than equal to zero. If x is negative number, when you square the negative number, it will give you positive. So normally if it's positive or negative, when you square, it always become positive. And a positive number is going to be greater than equal to zero. Okay. And this is kind of useful. Um, so it demonstrates in the example 22.5. Uh, so on example 22-5, that you have x squared plus y squared over 2 is greater than or equal to x, y. And you try to find out what uh, the solution for the, the x and the y. Okay. And so what you can do with, with this one is um, you multiply by 2 on both sides. Okay, again, when you multiply by, by positive number, you, do, you don't change anything. And rearrange, move everything to this side. So you get x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is greater than equal to 0. And then over here, we can make it into perfect square. So you got x minus y squared is greater than equal to 0. And so from here, we can see that it doesn't matter. So this is always going to be true, no matter what x and y are equal to. Okay. And so this would be for all real number, x and y, this is always going to be true. And so again, this is what the, uh, the trivial inequality is, can be used for. Okay, now, there's another, uh, it says, uh, right below, on the very end of this uh, lesson, it says, a crucial use of the trivial inequality is finding the minimum quadratic expression. So let's say if you have if you have an expression like x squared plus 5x plus 1. Okay? And what would be the minimum uh, value for that, for, for the y? Okay? Now, it, it, in the book, it kind of teaches you to make it into uh, complete a square. Okay? But this, uh, the, so you can do it by complete a square to find the vertex. See what happens when this is quadratic, so quadratic, if it's positive, you're gonna have this, you're gonna have a minimum, okay? So, so if I have a positive, uh, positive x squared, you're gonna go this, and you're gonna have the minimum value. If you have negative x squared, then you're gonna have this way, and you're gonna have the, the maximum, okay? So you can complete a square, but I don't really like to complete a square, so that's another way to do this problem, okay? So the way to do it is that the, the x, the, the, the vertex over here, the coordinates, the x coordinate is going to be equal to negative b over 2a, okay? So, so you can just go ahead and use a negative, um, um, make a, uh, use a negative b over 2a to find these, and then you can find the y after that. So you can use that y equal to that, right? So so the x will equal to negative b, negative b over 2a. So x will equal to negative 5 over 2. And you substitute this into here. So y will equal to negative 5 over 2 squared plus 5 times uh, negative 5 over 2 plus 1. So y will equal to 25 over 4 minus 25 over 2 plus 1. Okay, And you can make everything to common denominator. So y will equal to... 25 over 4 minus 50 over, uh, over 4 plus 4 over 4. So y will equal to um, negative 21 over 4. Okay. And so if you were to graph, then your vertex would be negative 5 over 2 comma negative, 20, uh, negative 21 over 4. So if you, were to, if you have to graph, that's what it is. Okay. So you can, you can by completing the square or you can just do the negative b over 2a and you substitute either way.